this is the beautiful Indigo Press edition of The Simple Art of Killing a Woman by Patricia Mello, uh, translated by me, Sophie Lewis. Uh, it's, um, it's a book that was first published in Brazil, and it's about a lawyer who travels to the northern, one of the northernmost states in Brazil, Acre, which is right on the Peruvian border and very much uh, a rainforest state and a border state with a lot of traffic across borders and the influence of many indigenous peoples as well. Um, the lawyer who travels to this state is fleeing her own personal traumas in her past and in her current relationships. And she's also got a, a professional mission to record, track and seek trends in the femicide cases being tried by a young prosecutor in Acre State. So she travels there and she's an observer. And the passage I'm going to read is some of her conclusions. The conclusion I reached by my second week in court was this. We women are dying like flies. You men get hammered and kill us. Men get enraged and kill us. Men want a bit of fun and kill us. Men discover our lovers and kill us. We leave them and men kill us. Men get another lover and kill us. Men are taken down a peg and kill us. Men get home tired after work and they kill us. And in court, everyone says the fault is ours. We women know how to provoke. We know how to make life hell, how to wreck a guy's life. We are disloyal and vindictive. It's our fault. We are the trigger. Really, what are we doing at this party, at this time, in these clothes? Really, why did we accept the drink we were offered? Worse still, why didn't we refuse the invitation to go up to that hotel room with that brute? Well, now we've been warned. Don't leave the house, certainly not at night. Don't get drunk. Don't be independent. Don't go this way or that way. Don't work. Don't choose that skirt or that neckline. But whoever said we follow the rules? We do wear mini skirts, necklines down to our belly buttons, shorts that barely hang on by our bum cracks. We go too far. We go down dark alleys. We draw conclusions. We work all day. We're independent. We have lovers. We giggle loudly. We support the household. We let it all go to shit. The strange thing is, we don't kill. It's incredible how rarely we kill. Given the stats on how many of us are dying, we ought to be killing more often. But due to some problem that could be glandular or could be structural, possibly ethical or possibly physical, we prefer not to kill. That's how it is. We generally end up tossed onto waste ground like Shirley for defiance. We are chopped up and buried like Caitlin in the yard for disobedience. You could have filled a stadium one of those really big ones with the fathers and mothers and sisters and brothers and daughters and sons and cousins and friends who came to the courthouse to grieve the deaths of these women.